Hello and welcome to this Dr Ross Maths key skill video on determining an equation of a straight line which is drawn. Now in previous videos we explored how we could find the gradient of a straight line and how we could find the y-intercept of a straight line. And we'll remind ourselves how we can do that in this particular video. So let's look at line A first. We need the gradient and we need the y-intercept first. Now the y-intercept is where the line cuts the y-axis. So line A, you can see, cuts the y-axis at 1. So the y-intercept is 1. And remember, we can use the letter C to represent y-intercept. So the y-intercept is 1. That means y-intercept. And then remember, we use the letter M to represent gradient. And what gradient is, is for each unit increase in x, so each time x increases by 1 of the line, what does the y value change by? So we can see on this line here, each time x increases by 1, we can see the y value goes up by 2. For each 1 square we go right, we go 2 up, and therefore the grain is 2. Now the general equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. Now the m and the c are what are known as constant, they're fixed values for a particular line and they're the values we want to set for your line. Whereas y and x are variables, we want to keep them as y and x. And that allows us to represent different points on the straight line because as if you have different points on the straight line, the x and y values vary as you have different points. So let's just substitute our m and our c in. We've got y is equal to mx, 2x, and then the c is 1, so we have 2x plus 1. And we could always check that. If we just try a different value of x, let's say x was equal to 2, then 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5, and that's basically saying when the x value is 2, the y value should be 5. So we go across 2, 5. Indeed, we can see 2, 5 is a point on this straight line here. Now let's do the next ones more quickly. The line B, well, what's the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept, C, we can see it cuts the y-axis at 4. And what's the gradient? Well, if we start on an actual grid point, a whole number grid point, then we can see that each time the x value goes up by 1, the y value actually decreases by 1. So y value decreases by 1 each time as we go from left to right. So the gradient is minus 1. And then using y equals mx plus c again, we get y is equal to mx plus c. And there we go, there's your equation. And if you want, you could add x to both sides of the equation to get x plus y equals 4. And that's a slightly tidier way of writing it because we're not using any negatives there. But both these equations are right. And what about c? The y-intercept is minus 1, that's where it's cutting the y-axis, so c is minus 1. And what's the gradient? Well, let's look. Each time x increases by 1, we can see the y-value is actually going up by half a square. Now, how do we know it's half and not a third or something? Well, that's because each time we go across 2, we go up 1. And that means for each 1 across we go, we must go just half a square up. So the gradient is half. And again, subbing into y equals mx plus c, y equals mx plus c. Remembering that the x and y just stay as variables, they stay as x and y, and that is the equation of line c.